Pampas grass, Australia. Everything you need to know. In this video, I will cover Australia's Pampas grass restrictions, discuss the harvest, explain different types, and give you some essential DIY tips and tricks on how to get the most value out of your Pampas grass. Is Pampas grass considered a noxious weed? Yes, Pampas grass is a noxious weed in some states. Therefore, it has restrictions in Australia. Pampas grass is not allowed in New South Wales, Tasmania and South Australia as they are highly invasive and with the potential to compete with local native plants. So for many florists and decorators in other states, like for example Victoria or Queensland, Pampas grass is allowed and thankfully so. The natural and rustic look of Pampas grass makes it a much sought after product specifically for weddings and home decoration. Pampas grass harvesting time. In the Australian summer months, December to February, March, it's pampas harvesting time. And sometimes, if the winter has been particularly wet, growers can harvest the same crop twice. Another fun fact is that one bush can produce different types of pampas, which can vary again from year to year. So what are the different types of pampas? You have the female pampas, which are cream and fluffy, like this one, while the male pampas have a more natural color and a coarse texture. Then there is also the hanging pampas, which hangs like an amaranthus. They naturally come in shades of pink, purple, brown and creams. And when fresh, they are blush pink and deep purple. But the color and textures can change when you dry them. Four DIY tips and tricks how to get the most value out of your pampas. One, heat is the trigger for pampas grass. If you want a nice, full and fluffy look, you should give them a shake and then put them out in the sunshine for about two hours and they will fluff up beautifully, as you can see here. Two, if you don't have as much sunshine as we have here in Queensland, customers from Victoria told us they use a hair dryer on low heat. This does the trick and much faster. Three, you can spray a little hairspray to stop the pampas from shedding. And finally, four, it would be best to consider where you will use your pampas. Avoid placing them under heaters or air conditionings. This will help you get the most value out of your pampas grass. So remember, heat is the trigger for pampas grass. So what should be your takeaways? Well, pampas grass is not allowed in New South Wales, Tasmania and South Australia. Harvesting season is in Australia from December to February, March. And female pampas is the nice and fluffy one. And heat from the sun or a hairdryer will fluff up your pampas grass beautifully, while hairspray will stop it from shedding. For more information about Australian dried flowers, please read our blog post, Six Facts Everyone Should Know About Dried Flowers in Australia, or view our eight minute video on YouTube. Please visit allonseason.com.au to view our complete range of Australian dried and preserved flowers, including pampas. Please do leave a comment. What's your take on pampas grass in Australia? We would love to hear your thoughts. My name is Ader, and on behalf of the All On Season team, Thanks for watching.